I'm going to show you how you can play Windows Steam games on your Mac and for that matter you can actually play any Windows games it doesn't actually need to be Steam games this tutorial will work for battle.net games uh, origin games any games that you want to play you can do it through this method the first step when you're on your Mac is to go ahead and open up a web browser the second step is to go down below and hit subscribe and hit like and turn on notifications for this channel once you're in your browser, you're going to come up to the top and you're going to search for VMware Fusion, just like this. Then you're going to click the first one, not the advert, the first one, which should be Fusion and Workstation, and the link should be VMware.com. We're going to click that. Then we're going to scroll down and click Download Now on the VMware Fusion Pro for Mac. This is a free piece of software, unlike all of the other ones that are currently available. So we're going to click Download Now. This is going to go ahead and open up a new tab. It's not actually going to start downloading it yet. So what you need to do now is either log in with your Broadcom account. I don't expect that you guys have one. So you'll probably have to register. So come up to the top right and click register. It's then going to ask you to create your account. Once you have signed up to Broadcom, you might need to go back to your VMware tab and just click this button again, just to make sure it actually opens up on the correct page. Now, when you're on this page, what you want to do, you should see a blue box here that says free software downloads available here. So we're going to click this message. Again, if you don't see that, then just click the click the link on the VMware page again and it should open up. And then when we're in this big long list of software, we're going to look for VMware Fusion here. So I'm going to click this and this is going to go ahead and open up the VMware Fusion page. At the top, we've got VMware Fusion 13. We're going to click that and then click the highest option. So this is the most up-to-date version. So I'm just going to click that. We're going to click download. So this works for both Silicon and Intel. It's then going to come up with a window just like this. So then what you need to do is double click the VMware Fusion dot app. And this is going to open up the installation window. So I've already got mine installed, so I'm not going to do this here. As you can see, there's already a version running. But you guys will just double click that and open it up and install it. Now, once you've opened VMware Fusion, it should open up with a window just like this, where it says select the install method and you can choose how you'd like to install VMware. So we're going to go ahead and click get Windows from Microsoft as we just want the latest, most secure version of Windows. We're going to click continue, continue again. You're then going to select your Windows edition. I'd recommend just leaving it on professional. Your language. And then we're going to click download windows once windows has finished downloading it will look like this we're just going to click continue we're then going to leave this on the default option then it's going to ask us to create a password so you've got to do this i did try to skip this but you do actually have to do this so i would recommend just clicking auto generate and then click continue then you have the option to either create a new virtual disk or use an ex existing one i'm going to assume you guys don't already have one so we're going to click continue and then we're just going to click finish just like that it's then going to ask us where do we want to save it so i'm just going to save it into this folder here which i've got called virtual machines so i'm just going to save it then we're going to go ahead and update the settings because we haven't actually set our settings up correctly at the moment to be able to play games on our virtual machine it won't be powerful enough so what we want to do is click processor and memory we're then going to give it nearly all of the processor cores. You're going to need to leave one or two free just because your Mac is going to need some to breathe. So I'm going to give mine 10. It's then going to ask you how much RAM you want to give your virtual machine. I'd recommend, again, just leaving a little bit free. So I'm going to leave four gigs free for my Mac. And we'll get up to about 20 gigs here, just roughly. It doesn't need to be exactly 20 gigs. Then it's going to ask us to do display. Again, with this, we want to turn on accelerated 3D graphics and make sure it's on the top option here. We'll go back now. And that should be everything you need to get it running as smoothly as possible. So we're going to go ahead and close this down. And then we're then going to open up our virtual machine. Now, I know you guys are going to think, oh, we're going to boot into Windows. It's all going to be done. Fantastic. No, there's actually a few more things that you're going to need to do once you're into Windows. So what you need to do from here is click virtual machine at the top and then click, mine says reinstall VMware tools. Yours will say install VMware tools. So I'm going to click reinstall. Then we're going to click install on the message that pops up. Then you just want to fly through this installation really quickly. Mine says change, so I'm not going to go ahead and do it. Once you've installed it, it'll ask you to reboot. So just go ahead and do that. Then once you've installed that, you can now start installing 
all of your Windows games. As you can see, I've downloaded and installed Steam. If I go to my Steam library, I can play every single Windows game on my Mac.